Discovery Channel's Street Outlaws was a cut above the rest. When you combine money, fame, fast cars and reckless decisions, you end up with a slew of crime, death and angry hot rodders. They may not create your typical reality show drama with in-house feuds and spats with the network, but this cast has definitely seen their fair share of tough times. Through the years, this cast has dealt with harrowing injuries and never-ending red tape. They've raced both legally and illegally, they've faced unemployment and prison stints. And to think, it was all thanks to a show that pretty much everyone thought would be a dud. So here are some dark secrets about street outlaws that fans likely didn't know till now. Let's get started. Hi, welcome back to our channel. Racers almost lost their licenses because of the show. Appearing on the show can give racers a boost in visibility. However, while it may help them gain fans, they might just find themselves losing their licenses in the process. In 2015, the National Hot Rod Association threatened drivers with the loss of their racing license should they appear on the show. Naturally, drivers were upset and angry over the ultimatum and lashed out against the NHRA. The organization issued a response to the backlash. Head of PR, Jeno Eifler, defended the statement, saying that the organization wanted to prevent licensed drivers from promoting an illegal and dangerous activity. He went on to state that he hoped drivers would do the right thing. A lot of the racers still participated in illegal races. Because the races on the show were very contained and as safe and legal as possible, the racing crew began to feel antsy and impatient to get back to their old illegal ways. There were a lot of rules and regulations preventing them from really racing the way they would on an ordinary road. So many of them just kept doing exactly that. Big Chief admitted that some of the crew members will seek out local races in town the night before they are supposed to shoot. For the most part, he said they always ended up racing alone. They never did find other racers to contend with. Derek Travis lost his job because of the show. Given all the controversy caused by street outlaws, it was only a matter of time before someone ended up in dire streets. Derek Travis learned that lesson the hard way when he was fired from his job due to his participation in the show. Travis said his boss at the time was uncomfortable with his illicit activities which ultimately led to the loss of his employment. Their car shop was shot at by criminals. Not everyone was a fan of the one-time number one show on the Discovery Channel, apparently. At one point, the crew's auto shop Midwest Street Cars was the target of very different kind of illegal activity the crew certainly hadn't attempted to invite. In 2015, an unknown gunman took aim at the shop, firing off 11 bullets into the building. Thankfully, the shop was closed and nobody was inside at the time. The business owner, Sean Ellington, reported the suspect also approached his own home. Big Chief crashed a car while filming. In spite of all the safety precautions taken on set, Street Outlaws was still a show about drag racing and there will always be an inherent danger that comes along with such an activity. So it should be no surprise that Big Chief wrecked his car while filming for the show. While racing against Brian Chucky Davis, Big Chief crossed over the lane and hit Chucky's vehicle before his own car flipped and landed in a ditch. Chucky's car spun over a curve before finally stopping in a grassy area. Big Chief suffered spinal cord injuries and a broken collarbone. Chucky reported back injuries due to the dangerous incident. Both racers were taken to the hospital right away and were able to be treated for the injuries. At least two of the show stars died young. It wasn't the horrendous accidents that brought about the early demise of two of the show's frequent racers. The reality of Butch DeMoss and Tyler Flip PD's untimely deaths was a lot more mundane and incredibly sad. While exact causes of death are hard to come by, mostly seeming to be conjecture and rumors, there are a few details that everyone seems to agree on. Butch was found dead in his home when he was only 43 of seemingly unknown causes. His death was said to be a surprise to those who knew him well. Flip was even younger when he passed at the age of 31. Again, details of his exact cause of death were sparse, but some reports claimed that the sad death was due to a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Ronnie Pollard was arrested for engine theft. Having their expensive drag racers become the targets of thieves wasn't enough to keep the entire Street Outlaws crew on the street and narrow. 
Occasional racer Ronnie Pollard was arrested for his role in a massive theft ring. At least three men were arrested in 2015 in connection with a massive criminal undertaking that resulted in the theft of two engines worth a total of $500,000. Pollard was not really a huge player in the operation and was arrested a full two weeks before the actual mastermind met his match. Police said ringleader Michael Moore had been suspected of being involved with multiple theft rings and had always been too crafty for officers to bring him, until his dirty deeds finally caught up with him in the end. So this is all for today guys, we hope you liked it. If you really like this video, then show us some love by giving us a like and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of the updates. Thanks a lot for watching, we will see you with another video.